Today is February 22nd, 2018, and th this is your daily blog episode number 43. Uh, today I want to talk about Profit Trailer uh, and Profit Trailer Magic. Uh, what is it? Uh, I discussed it in my previous video, so if you don't know what Profit Trailer Magic is, oh, well, I'll just go ahead and explain it to you guys. It is a tool that Profit Trailer uses to detect market trends, and based upon certain market trends, it will modify your PT settings. Okay, and I showcased that in my last video. Uh, this video here is how to install Profit Trailer Magic on your Windows system. And so let me go ahead and get that started. So the very first thing is go to their website, GitHub Ledger. You can see it on the link down below. And you could go to releases and go ahead and download the zip file, which I already have done. And then the next thing you will need to do is go to the wiki. And then under the wiki, look for Windows Setup, start here and you'll see this runtime Windows Server hosting file, which I have here, okay. All right, as well as there's another one in, in this area, uh, I highly recommend you getting as well. It is the NetFrame uh, 3.5 SP1. If you don't have NetFrame installed on your system, there might be some certain systems that don't have this NetFrame 3.1 SP1 installed, so you'll need to get that as well. If you run into any error messages, uh, go ahead and get that done. So you got your .NET, you have your NetFrame 3.1 SP1 installed, and you have now Profit Trailer Magic downloaded as well. Okay. For the purposes of our video here, uh, I want you to, uh, you, for Windows Server 2016, you don't need to download this runtime file. However, you will need to install it through the feature sets. So um, I'll go ahead and wait for this to load and show you guys how that is done. I already have it installed. I'm just going to show you guys. Um, actually, we could just wait. Go to Manage. App roles and features, hit next, 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 next to, and then go ahead and check these boxes here, guys. Okay. These four uh, boxes, actually, if you just check these three, it will automatically check TC port sharing installed. So uh, go ahead and do that and just hit next and go ahead and install and then reboot your system afterwards. If you don't reboot, I had a tended, my, I had a lot of issues because I didn't reboot it. Once I rebooted, all my issues went away. So get your net uh, framework 3.15 installed, get your uh, Windows hosting uh, net frame installed and have your profit trailer downloaded. So. Here is my download of Profit Trailer Magic, and there it is. Okay, inside the directory, there's something called a default setting directory. You copy these files, just like that, into your PT Magic directory. Okay, and you just right-click and paste. I'm not going to do that, all right, because I already did this already. That step. One of the prerequisites before you install uh, PT Magic is to change the trading dot log history to equal nine 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 nine. So this file here is the P11 uh, in the profit trailer directory, the application.properties file. And this is it right here, guys. Okay. And just change that to 9999. So the very thing, uh, the first thing we'll need to do is we need to go to, we're going to open up the general file. Okay. And in the general file, uh, let me go ahead and close this window down. In the general file, you'll need to put the profit trailer path. And here's the path. This is the path of profit, my profit trailer, and notice the backslashes is doubled. Even tells you in the notes, please put, use double backslashes, and it gives you an example. So follow that example. Same thing goes with uh, the other file that you have to look into is under the monitor, under app settings. Same thing, double backslashes. So app settings.json, another monitor file, and then we're done with this file. We never need it anymore. However, on the settings.general.json file, you'll need to switch this to Binance. It will say Bitrix at first, but we want Binance. So go ahead and change this to Binance. Uh, next one that we will modify is the, let's go here. Next thing we need to modify is, where can I, no, uh, excuse me. The analyzer.json file. This is what is used to set settings into PT based upon market trends, okay? But before we do that, we actually need to modify uh, our PT settings. So one of the steps inside the documentation you'll notice is that under underscore presets default, you'll need to copy over your DCA properties, your indicator properties, and your pairs properties into this directory, okay? Under uh, underscore presets slash defaults. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open each one up, okay? 
and show you what it looks like now. Now this was just recently added, the, 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 the top information, the header, but um, it wasn't there earlier, but that's okay. That's not what I'm looking into. What I did look into is I wanted to group all my settings, all my settings that I wanted PT Magic to modify. Okay, this is just something so that uh, it's just easier to read and also create a template associated with it. So just look at all your settings. So these are the settings I thought would be a good indicator or all these settings are good for me to change based upon market trends. So I copy, I, I move these in order so that they're in a single grouping. Okay, obviously you don't want bear, uh, doubles or duplicates. Make sure you don't have any duplicates. Cut and paste, right? And then the same thing goes with DCA, okay? Uh, I added additional triggers so that uh, I'm not using any of these triggers, but the the hope might be in the future that I end up using these additional triggers later down the road. And if I do end up using these triggers, they have to be there. So this is what I have. And now I need to create my template. And the template creation, this is um, what I recommend you guys doing. And this is what I ended up doing for myself. So remember we have this analyzer file that we loaded up under our PT magic directory. And I already created a template here based upon this information. So I'll show you guys how I did it. And I'm just going to control Z and then control Y again. So I'll control Z like a lot. Okay, control Z is not working. So let's just go ahead and do it fresh. So let me go ahead and grab a fresh copy of this file. And give you guys an idea of how I did it. All right, so this one doesn't have any modifications associated with it. What we're looking for here is tanking down. As soon as we find the word tanking down, these are the attributes we want to modify. So this is what I did. I went in my pairs. I did a copy paste. Okay. I go into my DCA. And I do a copy paste of all the settings that I want. Profit trailer magic to modify. Okay. And actually, I need one template. So I'm going to go ahead and enter here. Because I need to know what the syntax looks like. So I need to. So the, this is what I ended up doing. So I ended up. We could just and then delete that. And then for equal signs, so I could do a control F and then I do a replace. And for every equal sign, I need to replace it with yeah, that looks good. And I think that's right. Re uh, replace. Great. And then I need to delete. We're just making it exactly like the same syntax it was before. Okay. That's all we're doing here, guys. We're just making it look exactly like how it was. Notice these are the exact same matches that I have on my left-hand side under my pairs. So when the market looks like it's tanking down, it's going to actually activate all these settings. That's what that means, guys. And this is how you create a template and then all you do from you copy from I uh, will copy from pairs all the way to actually just be safe copy yeah copy from pairs to the last bracket and then you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of them so this one is bare sided so I said copy pairs to the last bracket paste make, and then I will do it again same thing so before I continue on with that let me go ahead and do that on the main file so you guys see how I created my template so now I'm going to do this too, uh, because I don't think I did the copies yet. Bare-sided. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Paste. Paste. To the moon. This is another setting. And then I'm going to paste again. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then, just to make sure that uh, there's no uh, issues with the syntax, I'm going to make sure that the application runs. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start PT Magic and make sure it runs. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of it. Yeah, everything looks good. If there was an error with the JSON settings.analyzer.json file, it will error out immediately. So my syntax is good. So now 
that I have confirmed everything looks okay and I didn't mess up on you know for example missing a, a tick here or excuse me a comma I'm gonna go ahead and make modifications to see what I want my profit magic or profit trailer magic to do when I know, say it's a tanking down setting so I'm gonna go ahead and do this when it's tanking down let's just go 1 1.0 at and then let's do trailing by at 4 I mean we're just gonna do really safe numbers right now okay we're just because I don't know what the definition of tanking down looks like because I never hit that so I need to keep playing around with it until I understand hey what are these global trends so DCA sell value uh, yeah point three is fine these are fine I don't want a DCA at all Okay, that's what I'm gonna tell it to do. Don't don't even DCA max times to DCAs once. Uh, max times to DCA on this one. This one is bare sided. I'm gonna say DCA only two times, and then I'm gonna increase this to um, seven. And then actually, I noticed the mistake that I had. Buy value. I wanted S seven actually. I'm gonna increase this to eight. The, on the left hand side, this screen here, this file look is on the PT metrics presets defaults pairs. This trumps my PT profit trailer settings. So whatever is in here will get re replaced with these settings if and only if when the market is at default settings, which means there's no action. Okay. It, actually, the best market scenario possible, it'll use these. All right. Like, so let me go ahead and keep modifying this. Pairs. I'm going to go with eight, negative eight, two, one, point three five. Sure, that's fine. Sell value, blah 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 blah. Looks good. Oh, all sell value. I, I missed this one. I'm going to set this to six, right? And then on this one, all sell value. I'm going to set it to zero point five. Because I'm I'm pretty much chicken, and I don't like holding bags, so I like to sell things quick. However, when we are now in ready for liftoff mode, I'm going to go ahead and improve all my settings. So I, I like 0.6, I like 0.2, sell value 0.85. Yeah, like, that sounds good to me. I'm going to put my zero in there so it looks nice. Uh, trading pairs 8, I'm not going to modify that, but I added this line here specifically so that if I wanted to modify this based upon market trends, I can. And actually, I am going to because. Uh, when the market is tanking down, I don't want it to trade that many pairs. You know, just get rid of it. It's almost like sell only mode at that point, right? Uh, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, ready for a liftoff. I did negative 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Dot, dot, dot. Looks good. Uh, let's get some little bit more profit here on my DCAs. Right, and then let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. I might actually be a little bit more greedy. I'm going to go four or five on that. Uh, I don't know what the settings will actually do. So that's another thing. If it ever goes to the moon, what does that actually mean? I think it, it means when all the markets and it has a collaboration of information that it's going to go up. Um, so looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Uh, and I want to do this at 0.62. So let me just make sure. Yeah, 0.6. Yeah, let's be a little bit more aggressive. Um, sell value. Let's do 1.2. Yeah, I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling a little ballsy. And then make sure my sell value here is actually at 0.7. Yeah, I want it at 0.7. This is my pairs again. My default on my left hand side. So uh, those are my default settings. I don't know why my default settings were so high, but that's fine. And I'm looking pretty happy with what I have. Oh, also on the, no, DC, I don't want to modify, but this will be something that I might modify in the future, and that's why I have these values here, okay? So let me go ahead and hit save. This is saved. Everything is saved, saved, saved. So now I have just built my settings.analyzer.json file, right? Uh, no, I don't want to save that one. And I could now start PT Magic. But before I start PT Magic, I'm gonna go ahead and load up Profit Trailer, okay?
And once uh, as profit trailer is now loading, let me just make sure there's no. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start PT Magic. Now, the first time you load PT Magic, it won't go this quickly. It'll take roughly about five minutes to load up. Uh, I preloaded this one time already, so my apologies, guys. But I just preloaded it and sort of worked out the kinks so that I knew how to explain the situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. And once this is finished, actually. Yeah, it might be loading it right now, so I might be needing to do a little fast forward. I don't know just yet. Uh, just real quick while this is loading up, I just want to explain something. Uh, once you start using PT Magic, your files, your PT trading, these files here, are dynamically being changed by PT Magic. And if you want some default settings, you have to go into the presets default and make modifications here. You'll no longer make any more modifications here. Uh, maybe once in a while when you want to do a panic sell. But keep in mind, PT Magic will overwrite those settings sometimes. So uh, just be uh, careful about that if you're trying to make a setting real, uh, just on the fly and you're wanting to sell with a panic sell or sell only mode. Make sure you have you close down uh, PT Magic, okay? Or you modify the indicators or the pairs file, and also your trends. So it's a lot of work. So it might be just better off just closing down PT Magic, and then you can modify your profit trailer uh, pairs file so that you can do like a sell sell only mode if you wanted to. All the work's done with PT Magic as it states there. We could now load up our monitor. Okay, start PT, uh, start PT Magic Monitor. Go ahead and start that up. And that's the website it needs to go to. So let me go ahead and copy paste that. You hit enter there, so it copies. Or you could just type it in manually, it's up to you. Well, it's local host. Just type in local, local host next time. Oh, nice. So they added some new features now. They added password protection on the portal itself, which is pretty neat. And let's take a look. So right now it is set to default settings, so everything is just looking very basic. So if that's the case, I want to go ahead and take a look at PT's settings right now, okay? So because I am changing PT settings, right? So let me go ahead and close this. Uh, that might be just better if I just go here. So if I go to the Paris file, there should be no changes that have been made. Actually, there might be a slight change that hasn't been made. Uh, it should be using my default file. Yep, everything looks good. This should be an exact representation of what is in PT Magic's default, presets default. Now, I wish the market was changing on me, but unfortunately it isn't. If it is, you'll see that the changes, so if the market is different right now, right now active global setting is default, but if market is looking different, and let's say it's looking bullish, it should change these settings here, and you'll notice that uh, there's some information that for every line it changes, there'll be a comment associated with it. One thing that it does right now that just has happened. Uh, if you notice the time step 220, look at the pump and dump protection that I already set on set for me. Rec, DC enabled false, uh, sell only mode equals true. Sell value. Look at these things. It will do these settings for you um, based upon it noticing that hey there's a pump and dump going on with the coin. So you technically don't need any other settings for pump and dump production. This bot already does it for you. So that's one thing that's really nice as you can see here. Um, let's go over to the some of the other functionality is just really nice. Look at all this data points that you receive. If we go to the sales anal uh, anal analyzer, um, you can see the sales that uh, I made sales. It tells me how many sales I made yesterday. And the just the dashboard is just so clean. And it'll just tell me, hey, what's been my top biggest sales so far? So what is my overall thoughts about the product so far? Um, I'm feeling pretty good about the product. And I'm actually very happy that I've installed it so far. Um, I know it has protected me from pump and dumps, which out of the box is amazing. 
Um, so if you look at, if I just go to market trends right now and I take a look, uh, you can see this PCPTBTC um, is a 20% gain in the last 24 hours. I, it, you know, and anything that goes up must come back down. So I love that feature about uh, PT Magic, and that's just out of the box protection. So that is something that you could benefit immediately as soon as you install the product regarding having the correct settings per market trends and all that that's something I have yet to figure out but I am very hopeful that this product will provide me more profit in the future I just need to figure it out and play around with it and configure the settings so anyways this video took a really long time this video is a really long video again thank you for all the subscribers um, I think I'm almost close to 400 right now and please subscribe thumbs up and then leave a comment down below thank you very much bye bye